Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Victoria 3. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day today. Uh, at least a better day than these factory workers in Pennsylvania, uh, because apparently they've been rocked by a tremendous boiler explosion. Dozens dead or injured. The story of this tragedy is quickly becoming a national event. All right, so I have a feeling this is gonna really impede progress in Pennsylvania. So the events are simply a price of progress. Don't like this, but the industrialists might like me a little bit more. Uh, workers should not be exploited and forced into such conditions. Trade unions like me a bit more. You get more political strength. And 5% of the upper strata in Pennsylvania become more radical, which is not that many people. Most people are in the lower strata, so this one's still worse. And then um, this one here is kind of meh. So I, I think I'd like to have the trade unions like me a little bit more. I'd like to get them a little bit more political strength as well. Their ideas more in line with what we want in modern times. So I'm going to go with this. <laughs> Sorry. The screaming in the background. All right. Welcome back. Um, we currently have 1.3 million loyalists and less than a million radicals. Although you can kind of see the graph. It started to, to flatline and then kind of come back up. Uh, so I'm sure there's a reason for that. I, I'm sure I'll discover the reason for that soon. In fact, the loyalists are now... Uh, uh, radicals are going back to a million. So, gotta figure it out, right? The, the whole game is an, is an economy game. Um, I'm currently expanding cotton fields in the south. I know I don't want to, but I'm currently doing it because I have to bring down the price of fabric. Fabric has gotten way out of control all of a sudden, and I can't import it from anywhere. Nobody has fabric. Um, so, yeah, it's just like we, we ramped up our production, right, on, on clothing. But then, you know, didn't ramp up the price production on fabric. So, um, I made the cotton. I made the cotton uh, expanded, and I brought the price down. So it should start to to come back down now. It was getting a little out of hand. Uh, so that's it's back on track now. And uh, yeah, I've started using other states too. Um, for example, we're using a shipyard in Maine. We're starting to use that a bit more. I got it at level two. Uh, furniture and factories are going to go up. We're going to start fishing more here. The logging camps. Uh, Massachusetts. We've uh, started utilizing uh, the fishing wharfs. Uh, logging camps down here too. I I'm trying to get other states involved too. North German migration. Ah, so they're moving to, nor moving to Michigan. Ah, North Germans in Michigan. Okay. Come on in. Uh, yeah, so today I'd like to pass a law. I don't know if it'll actually happen, but I'd like to pass a law. And, uh, I've been debating about it, right? Child labor, we can get to restricted child labor, but the industrialists are going to oppose this. comes down to six to one. What I really want is compulsory primary school, but that's going to make the industrialists go down to negative four. I'd rather just go straight here instead of this. And I know that by doing this, I'm going to have a lot less labor available in a lot of these states that have these, these factories manufacturing. So, you know, we're, we're trying to improve technology so they need less laborers, right? That was the whole goal before. Before I can do this, though, I have to have human rights. And human rights is institution. No, it's in the technology tree is where it is. Yeah. Human rights is in the society tab. And it is all the way over here, right there. So... Once we have the steam donkey, because they only have 23 months, um, we're going to go after human rights, which is three years away. This is more important to me economically, right, than this is. So I want to queue this up to go after that. We can't queue research in this game, unfortunately, so I just have to wait till this is done. But that's okay. The armed forces now have 7.5% clout, so they're basically not influential at all. Uh, the trade unions went from having 2% to 12.3%. So we're moving in the right direction, right? At least the direction I want to go. We're moving there. Uh, I'm trying to specialize certain states. We're getting, uh, you know, Georgia to have more cotton there. Again, I know these are slave states, but um, we rely on them. This is 1852. We are reliant on them uh, a little bit. I need to increase bureaucracy because I think uh, I want to do some things there. And I also want to increase education access too. And I think probably with Michigan... I can go to wooden passenger carriages, get more transportation. 
that'll improve quality of life considerably. Uh, but the logging camps in various different states do different things, right? So, like, Michigan is prioritizing the softwood. If I switch it to hardwood, we, of course, have less wood. So I have to kind of use all these different logging camps in many different states to produce different types of stuff. And so the market currently says wood is very expensive. And hardwood... Oh, well, these things are not together. Also very expensive. So let's get the price of wood down today, too. All right. So we're going to add a couple more logging camps to the mix. And, of course, I'm trying to... You know, control the speed at which I pr produce things and I construct things just so I can keep myself in the green. Got a 2.3 million in debt. So we want to keep that debt under control. Uh, so we're going to add more to the logging camps there. The grand plan pays off. What does that mean? Robert ran toll. I thought you died. Methodical leader of the trade unions has studiously uh, working behind the scenes for some time now. Lisa's work has finally paid off. That's very vague. It's a very vague description of things, but cool. Trade unions uh, getting things. I, I like the loan interest rate going down. I do. I really do. Uh, plus 23 momentum to the Whig party. We already have momentum to the Whig party. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. We, we have that already. So I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the... The United States is going to take this. And reducing my interest rate should help my income um, considerably. So um, now we're only paying... 2.13k interest and look at the money go boom now we can get out of debt all right good that event will help me a lot uh so you know we, we see porcelain right there right it's it's gold right we need we need to increase the the accessibility of porcelain as well so let's upgrade the glass works and uh, i think this logging camp can go up and then we also have a, a little bit of another problem here actually so i was looking at government here and see the people's party one last time with the rural folk and everything um the Whig party has lost a lot of its momentum like the clout for the wigs is way down and I, I i gotta imagine it's got something to do with like the disasters and things that have happened but way down and as a result democratic party even though they don't have a whole lot of clout they got a whole lot of support check out the election 23 days to the election and it just boomed something happened right here that really took it up a notch and I don't know what that is. <laughs> but whatever it is, they're going to win. And if they're going to win, we're not going to be getting rid of slavery today. Uh, which is unfortunate because I really wanted to enact a bill and a law. So maybe I can get that law on the books now before this election happens. So instead of going for the child labor allowed thing, because I'd like to get to compulsory school instead. I think what I'm going to do instead is implement a new taxation policy and go to proportional taxation. And proportional taxation is not enjoyed. It's not liked by the Southern planters. And they will radicalize against this. The industrialists will also oppose it, but they still like me enough to let it slide. But by doing this, I get a lot more money. I'm going to end up being able to collect 21,000 more tax dollars. Should help me expand and do things faster. A proportional taxation system is very similar to what we have in the United States today, in that the very low income people pay a lower tax rate. Um, and then as you make more money, you pay more in taxes proportionate to what you make. And so we end up making a lot uh, of different money. Now, of course, I can change this too, I think. So let's um, go ahead and put this in here right now. Just as the election happens, we're going to get that into the books and see if we can get it to pass. Because that's going to help our books a lot more. Take a look at our government. We don't have a lot of legitimacy. And that's because we didn't win. The bourgeoisie won, which is the Democratic Party. So if I want more legitimacy, I got to bring them into government. But I can't have everybody in government. So I can take the People's Party out and let's take the industrialists out. And this is good. I want to keep wigs in because they have policies to put in place that I uh, I want to have in place. Oh, but it won't let me do it. Ah. Cannot be promoted to power while approval is at angry. Oh. So, I can't make the Democratic Party in power. You know what? It's fine. We can just reform the government and have none of these other guys in there. <laughs> I guess we don't need the approval. Although if I get the industrialists out of it and just leave the People's Party in, I do actually technically gain legitimacy. So we're just going to do that instead. Um, yeah, so Democratic Party might have won the election, but you might have the presidency, but you don't have the House and the Senate, buddy. Okay? That's just the way that goes. 
All right, so see if we can enact that proportional tax law. Now, of course, as you know, they're going to rise up against us. They don't like it. So there is a, uh, a movement now to preserve the per capita taxation, and that's going to cause a revolution uh, trigger here. Now, all of that area is upset with that, and that's a, not, that's a lot of zones, a lot of area. We'll see what happens here. Um, industrial barriers. New factories in New Jersey are refusing to hire Afro-American Afro people uh, owing to their status as second-class citizens. These are jobs for the Americans would reduce the standards of living. So this is not what I want. Um, I can get interest approval reductions if I do this, which is kind of like not what I want because they might, you know, join the join the place against me. They're already happy with me, though, so I, I guess that's fine. Um, go ahead. So in other words, that my response is, you know what? Tough shit, all right? Let them work. They want to work. You need hands to work in your factories. You let them let them do it. So we'll see if there's really is a revolution over a different taxation policy. I can't imagine that's the case, but there might end up being one. Now, we also need to take a look real quick at our bureaucracy. We're going to need a lot more. We have some tax waste in here. So we're going to go in to a state where we are hopefully raising the roads. Um, take Pennsylvania out of it. Let's maybe move ourselves a little bit over. We can talk about maybe West Virginia a little bit, I think. Um, haven't done much with West Virginia. And they got a lot of stuff we can do, like expanding the coal mines and expanding our government infrastructure. So we can get that gun done, hopefully. Um, yeah. Keep an eye on the revolution. That may happen. I don't know. 61% um, is not something to joke about, but... Um, I think I can hold them off. And the really weird part is like we're basically everything surrounding DC, but not DC itself. So there is that too. Um, is there any government building for which I can go in and change to that new filing system? Any government, yeah, this one here can change and this one here can change. And that should help my bureaucracy a lot. Here's Ohio and Kentucky. We're going to need a lot more paper. Come and looking at you, Scranton. Going to need a lot more paper. I could probably make it somewhere else other than paper mill in Scranton, but this is very productive, right? Specializing your states in certain types of resources is a usually a pretty good thing. And it's very productive to do that. So I'm going to I'm gonna do it. Um, let's punch, uh, punch that paper mill to the top here real quick so it can get done faster. You can see, even with a full production schedule now, we're only losing 6.5K. And we would be able to do a full production if we had that taxation policy. So if I can enact this, if I can get this to pass, despite the you know Democratic president, if I can get this tax system changed, we can collect more tax dollars and we can do it in a more progressive way, right? Plus 10 prestige, nice. GDP has been steadily climbing this whole time. Looks pretty good. And we have almost a 60% literacy rate, which is also very nice, especially for 1853. So uh, we definitely want, obviously, everyone to be able to read. But for this time period, 60% of the population being able to read is pretty good. I think that's all right. That's all right. Um, let's go ahead and expand our lead mines a little bit. I haven't really done much with lead, but we finally started using enough to where I think the price is starting to adjust. Um, we also have standard of living decreases in the Virginias, which is not great. Not great at all. That's going to cause radicalization. Got to fix that. Um, let's take a look really quick. It's not fabric's fault. It's not clothing's fault. So it must be groceries. Groceries have gone up a little bit, but I mean, it's really not that out of control. Iron prices have, have gone up, though. Yep. And again, I would love to do trades. Uh, trading is a big part of this game. But um, without having people who can actually provide it anywhere, I mean, unavailable options. Look at There's just nobody that has iron in the whole world. Are you kidding me? Uh, same thing with coal. Nobody's willing to get rid of their coal in the whole world. Furniture. Blah. Bring it in from the Dutch market, I guess. Uh, we can export clothes, but why would I want to do that? We probably are overproducing meat. We could send some meat to the French market, I guess. And it's just like, these trades are blah, you know? There's not a lot to do there. I want big movement. I want big mobility trades, and I just can't seem to find it. So, at least now the 
quality of life going back up again here. Um, we're going to expand the iron mines twice. Ironclad is unlocked. So that's just a different ship. And we can do ironclad for naval bases. We can do the uh, steamships for the shipyards. The steamships might be a good improvement for us, actually. So extensive military shipbuilding gives us the uh, more manowars and slightly less clippers. Uh, less in total. Okay. Uh, but this is the steamships. So what does the steamships do? We, we make a lot less clippers. And a lot more steamers. Um, but what are the steamers used for? All right, we're using this for fishing wharves and stuff. Okay, we need to expand fishing because of the can stuff. So, I mean, this, this is probably good. Uh, so why don't we try to get another shipyard somewhere? Possibly Virginia. They're on the, you're on the shore, right? Yeah. I don't know if people qualified to work there, though. How about, uh, um, how about Rhode Island? How about Rhode Island could be good for this place? Yeah, you could do this in Rhode Island. Let's, uh, maybe we'll get a shipyard in Rhode Island, see what that's all about. But yeah, we're going to get more radicalization now, though. This, this law always, you know, when you mess with taxation, you, you seriously, like, you got to do this really carefully because... Especially in America, everybody's mad about taxes all the time. I mean, I got good justifications for it by myself, but that's just because my local government really wastes a whole lot of money. Ambitious middle strata citizens are opposing proportional taxation on the grounds that when they inevitably become wealthier capitalists, they will be excessively taxed. That is always the justification, isn't it? Why are you opposing the law, my friend? You're not rich. Not yet. But as soon as my next business venture takes off, I will be a wealthy man. And when that happens, I surely would not want to be taxed so highly. That is always the argument. And it's such a terrible argument. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. So this should be more realistic. Not what I want. Uh, sway them with a tax cut. So United States gets tax cuts for two years. We'll collect negative 10% tax rate. That's going to hit me hard right now. But as long as I'm careful with expansion for two years, I should be okay. And then I get a better chance at success later. I'm going to sway them with a the tax cut for now. And you can see, holy hell. <laughs> that was a huge hit. I should be okay, my ass. 63,000 and... Ah! Yikes. Well, so much for getting out of debt. Um, now, I could do that to you. I cut your taxes. Uh, where is the budget? Can I just raise it again? No. Uh, but I could do consumption taxes and stuff if I have more authority, which I don't have enough. Wow. This is all very expensive now. Um, okay. I think reducing wages for government could help me a little bit to stay afloat for a while but intelligentsio approval government wages going down it's sort of like i'm asking for radicalization here i'm just asking for people to hate me for a while i really want this bill passed though how about and this is only for two years so i guess it'd be 1950 1856 we would have the normal taxation back again Temporary national revenue, 9.23 is for investment pool transfer. What is income tax change? Now, why is this not showing me? Maybe I have to let the time run for it to show me, but I don't want all the time run yet. I want to change something first. So let's, um, let's do something with my authority here really quick. If I go into my overview, I'm still suppressing these guys. They've gained clout despite the suppression. So... We're going to get my authority back. And I got to do something with the budget here. So we are going to get a... And send engines, but that's not going to get me much. Because nobody wants them. Like, trade's really lame right here. It's probably a lot better over there. But in the United States right now, my trade options are so weird. Very, very lame. Uh, so... We're going to tax 
luxury furniture. It's really hard to get silk anyway. And I think we're going to add a tax on tobacco as well. That will buy me some time. Steam Donkey's done. I want to go into Human Rights. And that will buy me some time. I can wait out this two years, as long as we can get that law passed. So as we expand these two things, my construction costs will go down and we will eventually be back in the green to get rid of this debt. We're only 2 million in debt now. That's, that's our budget right now, 2 million. We gotta start dwindling into this 2.2 million now. But as the construction projects go away, you can see we're barely in a deficit now. So I will give you a tax cut for two years if you will consider proposing this. And I'll tax tobacco and luxury chairs. <laughs> I guess. Luxury chairs get taxed. Um, and of course, it, it, does this help my radicalization? I have no idea, but loyalists like it. Loyalists, you know, more loyalists for the tax cut for sure. So everybody likes that. Um, and then... I'm just going to ride this budget out, honestly. I'm just going to let this run. Let it run and see what happens to the market, you know? Uh, it's probably bad things happen to the market if you don't do anything with it. But fabric's under control. Clothing's under control. Tools are under control. Wood needs a little bit of an expansion. Can I get just a little bit more soft wood, please? Not have it cost me an arm and a leg in my construction sector? Um, how is... How is... Tools... 7%. Not good enough. Raise the... Nope, that's the textile mills. Well, we'll do the textile mills too. Fine. And then we'll do the tooling workshops. And I'm already... I'm not... I don't need to subsidize this anymore. The tooling is very productive. Although now that I'm not subsidizing, look what happens. It should be... All right, I'm going to subsidize it anyway because it looks like they're just having a hard time keeping that balance. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm almost through a year now. It's been a year. So, like, this is how fast time can go if you just let it run. And we got 33% support on this. We could get it. Who knows? I mean, that would be huge for my budget. It'd be enormous for my budget to have that happen. I would very much like that. We'll upgrade the tool workshops, too. Uh, I thought this was going to be faster, but it, it's not, not as fast as I thought it was. But it's okay. We're just a little bit in the hole. 2.28. Uh, all right, I'm going to let this run, and uh, I guess we got untrained hands. Hang on. Children working in the paper mills. I'm trying to get rid of that, dude, all right? I got human rights researching right now, okay? So uh, we're going to say that the keep children off the factory floor. Dependent income goes down in New York for, for five years, which should probably raise radicalism because families will have less money. So probably see this jump up from that but as long as we keep a lot of loyalists they love low taxes so keep that keep that happening uh maybe my budget could do oh i have a okay, hold on i have an authority authority deficit right now um you know we're not really doing anything in ohio at the moment so let's just kind of gut that real quick and that's going to help my authority a little bit more Yeah, so with 30% access authority, we get 7.5% enactment time. So that would be this. So the timer goes faster here if we have spare authority. Wine is getting more expensive. Uh, what are we at? Only a thousand deficit. We're halfway through that first year, so or that second year. So we're almost done with that two year term. Uh, realism unlocked, prestige, good. Let's take a look at. Kind of want to take a look at food industries, though. Food industries, uh, like in Connecticut, for example, they should have. Yeah, they should have vacuum canning now. Which we need more fish for, which are already reasonably priced. So let's get groceries added into the market here. And, uh. You know. If we add the vacuum canning, it's adding plus 180 groceries. We can then go in and add the patent stills, which reduces 30 of those groceries, but introduces more liquor, which is still pretty good. So that's a good increase in both liquor 
and groceries, which, you know, if we're connecting taxes on liquor, which we are not, um, or hear me out, or we are. <laughs> so make the make the liquor cheaper, but then tax that. And so they'll kind of cancel out, hopefully. Spain wants a defensive pact. They are offering to owe us an obligation if we accept. Ooh. That makes it a little more juicy. Now, if you don't know what an obligation is, one country can become obligated to another as a result of agreements made during diplomatic plays or when one country buys out another's loans. While obligated to a country, you are unable to start diplomatic plays against them or even join a play on the other side as them. So this would also prevent them from making any diplomatic plays against France because it's my ally. Uh, the other country may use an obligation they hold over you to force you into a diplomatic pact or may abs absolve it to sway you into supporting them in a diplomatic play or increase relationship with you. The problem with this defensive pact is that I really don't want to engage in military against somebody else. But all I have to do is say, okay, fine, I'm in war, and then not send soldiers. I think that's how it goes. Um, so diplomatic pact between two countries, countries engaged in a defensive pact may always side with each other in diplomatic place. I like this because of the obligation and I can get them to join my market. I think I like that better for that reason. Um, real, real quick though, let me take a look at Spain. I'd like to, like we have compatible governments and stuff. I'd like to see your, your market. Because I want your market to join mine, which would be amazing. Um, if you have silk, that would be very amazing. But I can't see their market. Maybe if I zoom in, I might be able to see you know, what they're farming. Wheat farms, livestock ranches, boring. Come on, <laughs> give me something good here. What do you got? This is Paris. What am I doing? Uh, Spain. Here we go. Uh, Spain. Uh... Okay, rice. We don't we don't have rice. Uh, they have more rice and silk. They have silk. Yes. So I would definitely want this. I'm gonna accept. Okay, I'm gonna take this, and then I think what I want to do is I would like to use my. Oh, why can't I change your customs union? Yeah. Change to our customs union. Generates each day towards relations to an maximum of resulting in relations increasing. Um, yeah, Spain's will become a part of a customs union led by the United States. Why can't I do this? The pact cannot be broken by us until August. I have to wait a month? Okay. Oh, I have to wait two, I have to wait two months. Okay. I want this because this will add their market to our customs market, which will give me access, much easier access to silk. And then I can produce the luxury goods a lot, a lot better. Because all these luxury clothes, it's the price just keeps climbing and it's stupid and people can't buy them. And people are getting upset. Open hearth process for the steel mills is good. We're probably going to do that. There, change to our customs union. Spain will be part of a customs union led by the United States of America. We will use our obligation to make them do this. You are obligated to do this. Request. See, they decline our offer. Look at this. They declined our offer even though I use my even though I use my my obligation with them. Oh, come on now. The obligation didn't do anything. Why didn't it? I didn't got I figured the obligation would make them almost force them to do it, but I guess not. I've never had to like, you know, I I've never been owed a customs obligation. I've owed one before. I, I owed one to France in a tutorial, but um I've never been owned one before. Uh so it's not adjacent to ours. They're not gonna 20 uh GDP compared to ours, so it's smaller. Why wouldn't you want to join ours if ours is bigger than yours? Main attitude toward us is genial. Uh, value of existing customs union. I don't. I can't make one because nobody's near me enough for doing to do this. Apparently, that's how that works. Temporary embarrassment. 
ambitious middle strata citizens are opposing proportional taxation. This is the same thing. You gave me the same thing. You're not making me reset this for two years. Oh, another two years of this nonsense. Dude, are you... Wait, are you going to compound this? Do you stack this? Is it going to go down by an additional 10%? Don't do it. Oh, for Christ's sake, another 10%. Oh, this game, man. This game. All right. Well, uh, we're not getting out of debt today. Now, uh, in January, that sh the first 10% should go away. So we're only hitting this for a little while. But that sucks really bad, man. These random events, dude, they suck. Actually, what I could have done is maybe just waited to respond to that until the very last second. But now everybody's loyal because their taxes are nothing. <laughs> so good. And now what's going to happen, though? You know what's going to happen, right? is their lifestyle is going to improve because of low taxes. And then when these things go away, their lifestyle will drop and then they'll become more radical on the decrease, right? But here's the thing that's really cool about that. The institutions that I have for home affairs is going to reduce that effect. I'm getting more loyalists for the standard of living increase and only half the radicals for the decrease. So I think in the long run, this is still a good thing. The game might have done me a favor. It's kind of disguised as a kick in the face, but I think they might have done me a favor for a little while. So hopefully in January, this stupid thing goes away and we can get back to being positive in January. I hope anyway. Apparently not. Seriously? What is this? For two years. That was, that was two years. Am I wrong? That was two years. What the hell? So, I don't get it. Does it not bring it back on its own? Do I have to do something to bring it back? This makes no sense. This That was two years. Uh, investment pool is going up. Fine, but what about my tax dollars? Full taxes, tariffs, minting, diplomatic packs. The Indian Territory, I guess that's happening. Um, subsidies. But the railway is going down. I, I don't get it. That random event is not in here. So it's kind of looking to me like the two years, the traits, right? Because it says the United States gains this trait. So what's what's the trait? Like how do I how do I see that trait? Uh on me. Because there's like some tag on me, right? For two years it said. And maybe it has to be till the end of 56. Yeah, January 54. I mean, if it's if it started in January 1854, then it goes to 55, that's one year. And then January 1856 is two years. So I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. Unhealthy economy. You, you, you think so? <laughs> you think so? Yeah, I, I get that. Mm -hmm, sure, I, I'm aware. I am aware. Diplomacy... Uh... Confederate States of America, they're not there because we haven't had the Civil War yet, and I'm hoping that never happens. Um, but I can't see an overview of my own country. Maybe I click this. All right. Modifiers. Where is... Where is this modifier that I'm getting hit with? Yeah, tax cuts and tax cuts. Five months. So your math is wrong, game. Your math is wrong, game. No, no, this was not two years. This was 30 months. You're hitting me for 30 freaking months is what you're making. You should have just said 30 months right from the get go. Yeah, see, this one has 25 months remaining. You suck. <laughs> okay, I'm not wrong. Uh, all right, so you just have to wait it out, I guess. We're just gonna go into deeper in debt while this happens. But again, I still think if this is if this is enabled, it's good. This is going to pay for itself. This problem's going to pay for itself, right? As long as this is enabled. So we should we should see seven weeks. All right. So we'll just ride it out and rack up the debt for a little what longer, and then there'll be an election, and then hopefully this passes because forty two percent chance. Come on now. Oh my God! You got to be kidding me! This game. We're going to minimize it. Screw this. I'm going to minimize this. You've got to be kidding me. 
They're just gonna keep hitting me with that stupid tax cut. <laughs> no! Electric telegraph unlocked. Uh, yeah, war exhaustion, uh, less war exhaustion and less casualties. So I'm gonna let this run until I absolutely have to hit it, I guess, and then hope that this passes in the meantime, but it doesn't look like it's going to. We have so many loyalists because of these stupid tax cuts. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me right now. Finally, human rights is unlocked. I would have hoped that I had this already so I can go into getting child labor removed, but I guess not. So this random event is way too powerful and stacks and it needs to be abolished. <laughs> you need to abolish that like we need to abolish slavery. All right, um, let's go back to mutual funds, I think, here, because we're going to be in debt for a while longer, it seems. So let's just, uh, you know, try to reduce that interest rate. Yep, see all the all the people who are got, got their quality of life decreased just now? It's crazy. All right, now we have a 52.5% chance. And as you can see, we are in debt, a bigger deficit again. So there's that. Land of plenty. Country's wealth standard of living has resulted in widespread sense of contentment with the status quo and the Whig favoring the Whig party. Good. I want the intelligentsia to have more population attraction and more, mo actually more momentum would be good. Um, the momentum is a cool thing, especially right before the election. This could sway the election, actually. If I click this button, it actually could sway the election. Uh, but getting George Duvall to be more popular would also help. Because he's a reformer. Experienced political operator. And a hedonist. Character is known for a more lavish lifestyle regardless if it is considered more sinful. Uh, okay, so he's supply consumption. Yeah. It's an actor, though. Inactive though. Uh, let's. Uh, he's also very hated. I think I'm just gonna give the momentum because I think it can uh, help sway the election. Ooh, very close. That's a very close race. People's Party. Well done. Good for you, asses. So yeah, more, <laughs> more deficit for me. <laughs> oh no! Please enact this. I'm tired of this event popping up every year and a half it's gonna hit me again i need more authority i need more bureaucracy i need more authority let's uh christ uh let's get rid of the road maintenance in virginia since we're not building anything right now anyway and uh yeah we're gonna tax some more stuff Let's tax uh, tobacco. Now our deficit's only 8,000. I'm telling you, you guys can have your you have tobacco tax free. Ooh, that's a very close race. It did sway it, but not enough. Um, you guys can have all the things you want. Okay, you can. You can have all of it, except for the part where I don't want you to have all of it. Like you can, you can have it as long as you just get out of my way, basically. So, yeah, I want the Whigs. I don't really want the Democratic Party to be involved, to be honest. I kind of want them out of government anyway. I'm okay. I think I'm okay with the 62%. Yeah, this is only increasing it by 10, but... Yeah, I think I'm okay with the... With the 62% on the legitimacy here. I'm fine with it. As long as they pass my damn taxation. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Fill this bar up. Quickly. Play for power. Hebner Gurney, leader of the uh, industrial uh, industrialists, has made a remarkable play for power in the capital in order to secure a spot for industrialists within the government. Not entirely clear if they should be rewarded for their novel tactics. So if I do that, then of course they get more interest groups, or I say not all is fair in love and war, and they don't they dislike me, and they also have less interest group political strength. What are they at right now? Alright, so I only lose two for that. That's fine. 
I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to let you in. Not yet. This deficit and this debt completely goes away as soon as this bill passes. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this is taking so long. <laughs> and the, the, honestly, this was a really smart play until the game kept hitting me with that same random event over and over. Horrible. It says 13 months left, man. <laughs> and then another 25 months. And then I bet you anything, once this passes, like, it's great. We'll get more tax income, but uh, these will probably stay on the books. And that, that sucks. But as soon as we can get rid of that, uh, as soon as we can get this passed, I will go ahead and remove the taxes on all that other stuff. Yes! It has finally happened! Proportional taxation! Save the day! Okay. Proportional taxation happens. Now, we're in even more trouble than we would normally be with that now because the percentages are the what's happening. We hit it hit us with percentages uh, for those taxes. So it's actually a bigger tax hit now than it was before because we are now increasing them. We're going to be taxing them, but like the percentage we're not getting from the tax cuts, right? It's a bigger it's a bigger thing. It sucks. I don't like it. So I have to wait that 13, the 13 months. The most prominent members of New York's high society have been seen organizing in luxurious parties. New York again. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do that. You guys can have your have your cake and eat it too, okay? Just give me back my cake, okay? Okay, so we're gonna keep expanding now. Um, we're almost done with this, this budget here. Uh, but I just noticed that we have 1.5 million in the investment pool. And this is like, you know, the investment pool. I'll just show you what it is. A uh, portion of dividends collected by the POPs and ownership shares is deposited into the divest investment pool where it becomes available to construct buildings and the country's current economic system law permits it to be built with these funds. So in other words, these are people who have committed investments and, well, we can dip into that to, to build things. I totally forgot that that exists. So we have 1.5 million. We don't need to wait to build things, which is perfect. It's just, it's, that's awesome. So textile mill is going up. Uh, glass is going to go up. I'm going to keep building all sorts of things now because I can dip into that. So um, I'm going to raise the university, get that logging camp going. Um, we're going to actually go ahead and expand the motor industries in Michigan again, as well as the logging camps. And um, we can use this to get more government administration buildings in other states as well so that we can hopefully manage that population just a little bit easier and get some more bureaucracy while we're at it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and expand these things too. So all of these things can now be funded by the investment pool that's there. I cannot use the investment pool to pay down debt. At least I don't think I can. It'd be really nice if I could though, right? I'm up to four and a half million now. Yes, stupid random events. Finally got that event gone. So look, we're up to 42K now, right? And this is with us building things, but check this out. This is 42K earnings, and this one is still in effect for another 12 months. So now we can finally hit this. I, I told you this debt is going to rack up, but we're going to take care of it. It's not forever. We can get through it. I just have to force my way into better taxes. So good. So the next law I want to do is compulsory primary school. Industrialists will hate this. Um... You know, it's going to be negative six. They're going to fight it tooth and nail. It's not going to radicalize them, though. We're going to go ahead and put it in there. I want to get the youth of America to not be in factories anymore so I can stop getting those tragic events and I can start seeing a more educated population. And you know, I, obviously, it's just better. Every, I think pretty much everyone can universally agree that kids do not belong in the factories. They belong in school. So we're going to try to get that going now, too. Now, the industrialists, of course, will not like this. They're not happy, and neither are the southern planters. But, again, we're going to try and push this through as uh, as strong as we can. And uh, I swear, I need this, though. I, need, I want more education access for everybody. But this thing right here, I think, is saving me right now, like, big time. Right, 2.75 million right now with our, with our income. Kind of wild. Um, I don't think some things I don't think you can build with. Can I build this with? Uh, no, I don't think this can be built with the investment pool. 
Because it doesn't say it can. Yeah, construction goods can be funded by the investment pool, can be funded by the investment pool. You see how it says can be funded? But but if you go into a state that doesn't have a government building like Kansas, it doesn't say that. So when we do our government administration buildings, those we have to pay for out of pocket. Um, so I, chances are the money just dropped because we're doing one of those. Well, I thought that's what it was. Maybe the university can't be. Right, university can't be uh, funded with public dollars. And actually, this might be my chance to get that arts academy. Because it can... Oh, it can't be either. Yeah, but that's okay, you know? That's okay, because we can mix in other construction projects with those. And boom, minting, baby. And we lower our interest rate by 2%. That's going to help us. <laughs> that's gonna help us uh that's the only thing they can uh so now we can do an international exchange standard um add more minting reduce interest even further i do like these things um central planning is kind of what we need to go to in terms of uh getting well i don't i don't want to I don't want to command economy, so no. Uh, but we need that later. Um, I'm thinking probably maybe we can start investing in military. We do need to start expanding to the west, of course. But I'm thinking military might work okay for us here. We're already getting modern nursing up and running. So, like, the healthcare part of the military is starting to go. Um, gantry cranes. I still think production is more my, my bread and butter here. Steel railway cars. Could be kind of cool. But honestly, I think oil rigging is better. Um, pump jacks. I think that by getting this stuff, because the machines are going to need oil, right? So we can get threshing machines for the farms. Uh, and then we can get mechanized farming going. But uh, where's automobiles? Like, to be, like driving around in cars. I don't, I don't see that. Um, I thought for sure that this, would, this path would lead me to, to cars, um, to automobiles, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like it does. I'm curious on what does. Let me production. Um, United, States of America has, United States of America has invented combustion engine. Oh, I didn't see that. Where is it? It's grayed out. It's right here. Okay, good. So it's right there, and uh, we can get it through the rotary valve engine, which is what I need for my steel mills and paper mills anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and grab that now. Uh, electric generation would have been cool, though. I don't really care either way which ones, honestly. But I can always get the urban center streetlights, so that might that might be better, actually, still. So let's just do that. All right, guys. We solved the attack on our wallet. It's, it's quite the attack on our wallet. And until that last one goes away, I'm not removing those taxes. They want their tax cut? Fine. You can have your tax cut. You just pay extra for the other stuff, okay? Um, we have almost three times as many loyalists as radicals. So that's good. Um, and if I go into the budget, pretty much any time I want to, I can remove these. So currently I'm making quite a bit of money from them, but I can remove them when it's, you know, financially feasible to do so. And I think I'll probably start with the tax on luxury furniture since this is already really expensive. So yeah, so we're going to maybe drop that. And you see, I go instantly into the red, so I can't drop it yet. But as soon as that other one is done, as soon as this is gone, in four months, then I can drop it and I'll have enough money to sustain myself then. And then we're going to continue, you know, building things. All these government administration buildings is what we're building right now. That's why we're not that green because I'm building all the things that are government administration, but I can like add the food canneries, for example, to this, uh, add this and then, you no, know, it'll go back up for a while as we mix and match. So mixing the government agencies and government buildings in between some of the other stuff, it's probably a good, uh, a good way to do it. 
Uh, okay, so it looks to me like we got a diplomatic prey with France doing something that was that was fine. Um, we I, I don't really mind all that stuff. That's fine. There's one final thing to do, and then I think I'm gonna call this video a day, and that is the invisible cry. Again, with kids in the mines. Ugh. It'd be a shame if they were to hide in these abandoned houses. <gasps> Due to the inhuman conditions that children face in their workplaces, many families in District of Columbia have chosen to hide their offspring in the hopes of them not being sent to work. They told us to stay quiet, sir. So that's what we did. My brother and I stood there, quiet as a tomb, you see. I held my breath as much as I could, but it was too dark. So I figured they'd already left. They wouldn't find us here, you see. That's, that's what Mama said. But it was too dark, sir. And it was cold. So the industrialist can lose approval and prop attraction. And we gain 10%. Oh, I like both of those things. Go. And of course, the industrialists already don't like us very much. So, uh, you know, losing approval from them is maybe not the best play. Uh, they're not negative 10 yet. That's when they become really uh, a problem. Uh, so let's keep them kind of, sort of, not super pissed at us but also since they're not affiliated with any party and they have really low clout and they're losing even more clout now less of a concern that they don't like me whoo this has been a been a crazy little little video here i i want to i want to let it let it run just a little bit longer um just so you can see what we'll end up making after these tax cuts are gone right I want my budget to be realized. I want us to be able to see what it's like. Uh, so now it's 61,000. Boom. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we're going to eat into that debt. <laughs> Good. The war with Mossy broke out. Good luck, France. <laughs> Have fun with that. Okay, Arts Academy is going in. I can't pay for that with the investment dollars. Most of this stuff is investment dollar stuff, but we still have the investment pool. Uh, no, we don't. We just spent it all. We spent everything in the investment pool just now. Okay, cool. That was pretty good. I'm all right with that. Massachusetts is losing their uh, quality of living, but I'll just add a railway and a port and call it good, okay? Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Uh, I hope you guys like the video. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already and all that stuff. We're going to remove the tax now, finally, on the luxury goods. Let's remove the tax on the tobacco. And finally, equalize it all out by removing the tax on liquor. There we go. We can now do all these construction projects with no, uh, with no investment pool. And we still pay 24,000 positive while doing so. That feels pretty good. Now we can really start to ramp up and I can start incorporating other states. I've been, you might be wondering like, why isn't he using other states? It's because if I really hammer in on this area, I know I can make a profit. And once I get that profit, I can then start expanding rapidly out the other way. That's what I wanted to do. And so now I can add railroads. I can start adding uh, new construction sectors, for example. I can start getting more urban things going in other states as we start adding and incorporating new states into our into our uh, nation. Um, and then once we are stable, we can then go after Mexico because they've got a lot of our territory. And apparently I'm gonna have to go after Canada, which I don't like the sound of because I'm pretty sure they're a Great Britain domain, dominion. So it's kind of like going to war with Great Britain too. Might be a while before we get you, Washington and Oregon. Might be a while before we get you. Maybe a little Idaho here too, yeah. Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. It's gonna be a bit before we get you. Um, but as a consolation prize, we do have a little bit of land in Alberta. <laughs> Somehow we managed to get that. <sighs> All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.